Hello guys and happy holidays. Today I'm so excited to be participating in another Disney YouTuber Secret Santa exchange. This is the only one I'm doing, but I'm saying another because Vlogmas has been delightfully filled with so many videos like this and I am really excited to be participating in this one. Let me tell you, I've learned a little something. These are not cheap. My goodness, shipping these out costs the same, if not more, as the gift you got to give them. So I really appreciate all the Disney YouTubers received on here, their commitment level to send each other some Christmas cheer. That shows we YouTubers care about each other. So let me tell you a little something about the girls that I'm doing an exchange with. This was initiated by Vixen Lost in Disney. She's been killing it on YouTube this past year. She started the It's Good to Be Bad pin tag, which I've seen so many people do. And spoiler alert, my gift went to her. So make sure you check out her channel. We also did this exchange with Beth Loong, who has the best Disney pins from all around the world. But when she hones in on a collection, damn, she gets like the highlights. Uh, coming to mind are the Disney cats and the Ariel pink dress. And then there is Oh Hello Robin, who also, like the rest of us, only started YouTubing within this past year. But I love the videos she does, and I love the videos her husband Rod does. Let me tell you, relationship goals. So I'm gonna say, check it out, learn for yourself, it's so true. And the last person is who my gift is from, and it's from Beth at the Collectioneers Club. Beth only recently started YouTubing as well, but she's really, you can see her audience growing and growing and growing because her sweet demeanor is as lovely as the clever craft she comes up with. She's also did a great interview with Ryan from Disney Pins Blog. She puts a lot of time into her videos, even if she's just doing an unboxing. I say unboxing instead of a haul, because that's when you learn where I'm from. When I say haul, it's my haul video. We're gonna have a haul, but this box, as secretive as it is to me, has been driving my husband nuts because he wants to know what's inside. He cannot handle waiting. So he's over to the side. He wants me to open this up and see what's inside. It's like Christmas morning for him. <laughs> so let's do it. Over here. It's a big box, so I can't get this uh, all in shot. I mean, I could, but it wouldn't be pretty. So it's already looking so pretty when you open it. She's got the Christmas colors. <laughs> I'm excited. I already see something we really like. So first, a note that says, please open after you open gifts. So it could be a spoiler card. But I already see something I love oh. that Beth knows I would love. And you can hear my husband <laughs> reacting in the background because he knows I love this too. Oh, uh, and he's got the white little paws like my buster. Uh, so we're Figaro collectors. Uh, if you've watched my channel before, you know that. If you haven't watched, this is the perfect gift for me. I don't have a plush Figaro, and I definitely don't have a Christmas plush Figaro. Often, I'll get them and they go, oh, I should give it to my niece, you know, and I don't keep them for myself. So this is perfect, and I am keeping this. This almost looks like he's a little vintage, which is really cool. Maybe Tommy can investigate this for me. But he is fabulous and I am so happy. to. And he has this simple bow. Mm -hmm. There's a Minnie Mouse short where she dresses, I'm gonna let my husband look, where she dresses figure up in a bow and he's so embarrassed and he gets teased by the other cat. <laughs> oh boy, so this is, oh my gosh, nicely wrapped. Happy Holidays, Nina. So this came with the card, but I saw Figaro first and had to grab him. Oh, it's a cute little home. Beth, your handwriting is like a font. It's all perfectly straight with great lines. So thank you so much, Beth. But look how perfectly straight all her writing is. My gosh, and everything is really thoughtfully wrapped like with really pristine bubble wrap. Oh my gosh. Oh, and she has ribbons on the... <laughs> I wonder what Christmas morning in Beth's house 
was like for her kids growing up because I bet it was all these like fabulous touches and things that like they appreciate now so much more as adults you know like with the perfectly wrapped gifts because I cannot picture anything less of a collectioneer which is a brilliant term that does this before and for me to have never seen a Disney wrestling crossover photo before is <laughs> unreal I love this oh my gosh so obviously my channel name is wrestling with Disney which means I love wrestling just as much as I love Disney and this is Anna and Elsa dressed up as the Legion of Doom. So if you're not familiar with wrestling, which is a-okay, I'm used to that. The Legion of Doom had these shoulder pads and face paint That's and cool. they would say, what a rash. I've never seen this before in my life and it's the best thing <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. I love this. I bet in her note to open after the gifts it says who made this. I am so curious as to where she got this. I could spend the rest of this video talking about how much I love this. I've never seen this. Have you ever seen? No. Tommy's never seen this. Never seen this. Oh, I, I feel like I need but to gotta stop. Find a spot to hang it. A uh, good spot. I need to stop and take a breather. So this is my Minnie Mouse mug I brought over. I shouldn't have more caffeine after that because I'm on <laughs> such a rush. What oh a my rush. gosh! What a rush! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> my mind is like blown. She could stop there and I'd be fine, but knowing that she didn't stop there, there's so much more in this, I feel terrible. My gosh. My gosh. Like, I want to message her right away, but at the same time, like, I want her to see the genuine reaction, because I cannot handle life. This paper, look at this sort of package. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you so much, Beth, for the thought you've put into this. I know it's not easy just living, you know, we live our lives, we work, we have our families, and then we put in filming our own YouTube videos into it. Then when you add on top of it, supporting others, the time it takes to watch those videos, the time it took to find the gifts, to wrap the gifts, to send the gifts. I know I opened up talking about the money it costs, but this also costs a lot of your time and I really really appreciate it oh my god <laughs> I think now Tommy's thinking this backfired because how is he gonna top <laughs> oh my gosh I'm hoping this is another <laughs> which is I like is. I hope it is oh my, god. oh my god oh my god can't wait to find out where she got these. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, I'm gonna say the Disney princess and I'm gonna see if Tommy can guess the collaboration. It's Moana. The Rock? Tommy is freaking right. Oh. This is Moana. Moana Mayovia. So before The Rock was cool and just The Rock, he was Rocky Mayovia and wore an outfit oh, wow. like this. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Beth won Christmas. <laughs> Beth won Christmas. I love this. I love this. Now I'm going to be able to put it in like every place I go. Like I can have one in my bedroom by my yeah. where I do my makeup. I can have one. Oh look Tommy. Fits right there. <laughs> this <Yeah. laughs> Tommy's like great. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow. <laughs> wow this ribbon is really nice. Beth nails it. Oh my gosh, this has a note saying, I saw flowers and rose gold and thought of you. Hope you like them. I bet she's right because I love flowers and rose gold. And as I've mentioned on here before, that was pretty much the theme of my wedding. <laughs> so that's gonna be something I love. 
I still can't get over how nicely she wraps. Beth, maybe you could like throw me a bone and post a YouTube wrapping tutorial because your wrapping is like insanely spot on and I need it. Cause like mine has all the messy corners and stuff. I know I still haven't come down to earth <laughs> from those. I'm still like, that was like a natural high Beth. So this is very nicely wrapped. very nicely wrapped within the wrapping oh my god wow this is like how is beth finding all these nina mergers right she found the wrestling with disney art print now she's finding the flowers with rose gold maybe she's really santa claus <laughs> maybe she's really santa claus and maybe you should consult her I before should. every gift you buy me. like this is amazing and i forgot to wear ears for this video and i meant to awesome. i'm very cool <laughs> i like to add a mullet when i put on ears <laughs> you know do the poof and then the potty in the back <laughs> oh my gosh there's still stuff in here beth there's more in there there's more in there so it's like thanks for making mine look terrible by comparison <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Another nice bow and paper combination. Mm -hmm. The bows themselves are. Yeah. I don't think Beth has any cats. I wonder. I don't think she does because Buster's not like sniffing all the stuff. Usually you could tell when it's from a cat home because he goes like nuts. I just <laughs> threw him the pea likes packing peanuts. This is the one I don't have of this set. Really? I have this whole set. How'd you play? I, is that the Pinocchio one? Yes! <laughs> Beth, WGN! <laughs> this is like, oh my gosh, I love you and Tommy hates you because <laughs> you are so great at this. So I'm closing up on mostly Figaro because that's why I would love this mug. But even before I had Buster, I had every other mug from this collection, which is on, I did a, a mug haul video, haul, a mug collection video. And this was the only one I was missing and Beth got it. <laughs> Beth gets it. Beth gets it. She does. This is very overwhelming. <laughs> this is fantastic. Thank you, Beth. And whenever I drink out of this mug, I'm going to think of you, your thoughtfulness, and your generosity. So thank you so much. Wow. I think there's, there's something else in here. Oh my god. Beth, did we have a $1,000 limit that I didn't know about? Because <laughs> that's how I'm feeling right now. Oh my god. They're cat slippers. <laughs> oh my gosh. And they look so comfy and so perfect around the house. And these are the precious, fabulous, ever popular Aristocats. So she filled this stocking. Shut up. <laughs> With stocking goodies. Oh my gosh. The Figaro card. Post-its, oh my gosh, at work we did a secret Santa and everyone got post-its but me. And now I have the post-its and there's another wrapped gift inside. Oh my gosh. This is so incredible. <laughs> Shut up. I have to like show Tommy first. <laughs> it's our happy little boy. It's Figaro. Gosh. I'm getting a glare on him. It's, this is uh, Jim Shore. And we don't have a Jim Shore Figaro. We have a Minnie and Mickey, and now we can put him with us and be a happy yeah. family. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me show you my Figaro coming over to see these. Buster. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's why we love Figaro, because he looks just like mm -hmm. this guy little insight mm -hmm. as to why I keep freaking out over Figaro stuff.
No, 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 don't eat it. Oh, don't eat the packing tape, but it's just for swatting. Someone needs to tell this woman to stop. There's more in this box. There's more in this box. Now I have to like consult these texts and make sure I had the pricing right. Because <laughs> Beth spent a million dollars. <laughs> this is so cute. Look how she does this, Tommy. I want to be a crafty person. She has like the candy canes wow. on top. See now, if Tommy wasn't here, I probably would have put this in his stocking. But like, look how crafty a wife. <laughs> but we'll share it together. <laughs> oh my gosh, Beth, Beth. Best, best, best. Mm -hmm. uh, so she was in Disney and I was hoping she made me throw in something like this. So these are from the park. Oh. Ma Mary Meow Miss Buster, she wrote. She got Buster <laughs> gift and Buster likes squeaky toys with tails. Like how does she know everything? She Maybe she is Santa Claus. I think you're right, Tommy. Santa Claus? you yeah mm. I think Beth is Santa Claus like so look at what's happening here this is a full box of stuff all from Beth for me and Buster and Tommy by association <laughs> <laughs> that was so so That was really manic, me holding this because yes. Yeah. But this is how I feel. We got the freaking Rice Krispie Treat. Thank you. Thank you. That is the perfect gift to get from the park. Two of them. So Tommy and I each have That's one. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, Beth. <laughs> this was amazing. This was the unboxing of unboxings. I don't even know how one would value this box. Yeah. If I, if this were a subscription box, I'd be like, this is a $400 box, if not $5,000, <laughs> a $1 million dollars, the cost of a vacation. It was amazing. And it was so thoughtful. Every gift required thought. It was really incredible. So let's see what the open after oh yes so she has who she got it from this is the artist who i purchased your princess wrestling print from and he is so incredibly nice i'd love it if you could link his shop absolutely wow and she was he made sure he's from canada and he made sure to get these shipped to her in time so this could ship to me in time and I'm definitely gonna link. It's Ironclad Folly, and he's on Etsy. So I'll show you like the logo so you'll recognize it, but I'm gonna link it all below. Cause this was so up my alley. And let me tell you, there are other wrestling Disney fans in this world. Alexa Bliss, I'm looking at you. Zack Ryder, I'm looking at you. And there are more of you sprinkled throughout the real life. So please, you know, keep me posted as to who you are and let's continue to connect. This was so amazing. <laughs> I need a nap after that. Yeah, <laughs> that was lot. so great, Beth. I really need to give you like a virtual hug because that was so special. I can't wait to see have you watch this video because I hope it makes you smile and I hope it makes you feel like all of your thought and energy and efforts paid off because I feel very blessed right now and so grateful to have met this whole community. Um, the girls that Vicky picked to be in this video are all amazing and I know everyone's gonna probably feel the same about what they got um, from Beth, Beth, Robin, and Vicky. These are just great girls and they've also offered each in their own way a lot of support like i said we're all new to doing this and i think we all appreciate in each other that it's not easy to film yourself and decide to post it on youtube you know especially as an adult it's you know some people think it's awkward and weird and they go oh, you do that so to have found this group of women who decided to take that chance to and to support each other in doing it really means a lot and i'm grateful to each of you and thank you to those who watched this i hope you'll check out beth at the collectioneers club to see 
her video and to see who she got a box from and then you can just check out everyone's channels from there and once again i want to give a final shout out to the iron clad folly right that's what it was yep iron clad folly maker of fine and strange arts and it certainly was <laughs> home run fine fest so thank you again everyone for watching i hope you had fun with this and i can't wait to do this again soon and i'm gonna show you in a future video where i put these art prints because man they are the bomb thanks I'm just sitting with his ball <laughs> oh there he goes beth claus santa beth I don't know what her Christmas name's gonna be, but damn, she earned it. There was more in the stocking. There was more in the stocking. There's an Alice in Wonderland magnet and it's like vintage and perfect. Yeah. And shut up. Oh. That is the line of today. I know Beth's line is, oh my goodness, mine is shut up. Shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's something else in here too. Oh my gosh. That's a gift that never ends. The stocking has an N on it. Wow, this is incredible. And this is the last item and this is something I so want. Uh, Oh, it smells so good. This is from the Magic Handle Company, and I don't have one of their candles yet. And this is inspired by Port Orleans, which is where I went on my last trip on my honeymoon. So, just to reiterate, <laughs> because I've been in such a whirlwind, because this was all so amazing, I should do it where you can see all the wrapping paper with me. That's how incredible this has been. But I'm going to link everything that I know where it's from below. Like I'll link the Magic Candle Company and the Ironclad Folly, etc. And I'll of course link to Beth and to Beth and to Robin and to Vicky. So you can see all these great girls and their channels. And once again, thank you all for welcoming us into your homes and YouTube lives. Tommy did just say like shh. Shoot, now I have to go back to the jeweler because now Beth outdid him for Christmas. <laughs> Even Buster's like, Mom, you better go back to the store because <laughs> Beth outdid me for Christmas. She got more from Buster than I did, I think. <laughs> Get Buster a cat treat or something. Mm, I had a fill that box was going to be something good. <laughs> <laughs> and we ran.